All right, here we are already. This is part five of our five-part series, What the Heck's Inside My Computer. Now, over the last four parts, you've learned the major components. You learned about the motherboard, the hard drive, the RAM, and the CPU. You know how everything works together. You know that all that stuff's in there, but there's more to a computer than just that. You also have things like, uh, you know, your video. You gotta be able to watch, uh, you know, see what you're doing with your monitor. You have sound. You have to hook up to the internet. We're gonna talk about that kind of stuff today. So I think probably the first important thing that we do here is kind of give you an idea of how this works. We've been showing you this motherboard the entire time. Now, the motherboard has on the side of it here all of these different ports and things, which is really, if you can see it side by side, here's the computer put together and here's our motherboard. This is mounted inside of here just like this. Now, the next part that you see here is these. This is pretty standard for most computers. You'll see that it has the different slots where you can plug in different things. This one has a modem because it's an old computer, and it, and it also has a, uh, a network card. Now, these network cards and things, they, they look just like these ones, which are the outside parts. And um, they actually go like this, and they hook into this board just like this. So now we'll talk about a few of these and, and kind of show you exactly how they work. Okay, let's start with the video card. Now, a lot of the components that we're going to discuss today are, on a modern computer, may very well be integrated right into the board. Our particular board does not have a video card on it, so this would have to have a separate card that looks like this. Um, you can tell a video card just because it's got the monitor output jack right there. And uh, these, this particular one's an old PCI one. It plugs in to the expansion slot, and it sits like this, and you kind of compare that to where it is on the computer here. Um, but that's all there is to it. That's, uh, that's a video card. Your video card is used, obviously, to send the signal from the computer to the monitor so you can see what the heck you're doing. Uh, without a video card, your computer would be kind of frustrating to use. The next one that we're going to talk about here is the network card, which um, this is the network card. Um, many of you, I'm sure, have this already. As a matter of fact, this computer, this motherboard, has it right here. Automatically, it's built in. But it's another thing that can slide right into a slot, just like the video card can. And it can go right into a PCI slot, just like that. And you'll see that it lines up just the same way. Well, let's see, what else do we have? We have sound cards. Now, let me see that board real quick. Right. Now, we don't have a sound card to show you because it's been years since they didn't have them built into the motherboard. Uh, this particular motherboard, you can see the sound card output jacks are right here. And on this one here, it, they, you know, it lines up right there. These are almost always built into the board. The only way you wouldn't have these built into the board is if, say, you had a, uh, you were really a, an audiophile and you were like, oh, I have to have the absolute best audio. Maybe you would buy, go out and buy a real high-end sound card. And they would plug in very similar to the way you saw these cards plug in. But for the most part, the audio cards that are the sound cards that are on the board are very good. They do a very good job. And there's almost never any need to replace them unless they go out. So that's, uh, that's some of the extra components there that we didn't discuss up till now, but uh, you got an idea now. And of course, there's always more. Um, you, these slots that we, that we looked at here, we covered the main ones, the video, the network, the sound, but there's people out there that make cards for just about anything. And really, if you start to look at computer hardware, you'll find that there's things for capturing video, there's things for capturing audio differently than you would do on your sound card. I mean, you can make a computer do anything, and when you make a computer do anything, you have to be able to connect it to these slots. And I think that wraps up our series. Um, we never claimed that this was going to be the end all and be all. You're not going to be necessarily the computer expert. You're not going to go down to the store and tell everybody that you know that you know everything about it now. But you know what? At least now you know exactly what's inside your computer and how it all works together. And we appreciate you watching these videos. And of course, if you have any questions for us, if you have questions about this or about anything to do with your computer, stop by worldstart.com slash ask, and we'll be happy to answer them. And uh, if you've never been to our site, go to www.worldstart.com, where you can sign up for our computer tips newsletter. And we put together great computer tips every day. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks.